Having a refreshing nap requires a fine balance of factors that you might not be aware of. Stay tuned for five tips on how to take the best naps of your life, making you the king or queen of Nap Vegas. That triple stacked burger for lunch seemed like a good idea at the time, but now you're paying the price. Your brontosaurus burger set the stage for the inevitable, the food coma, the itis, the post-lunch dip. Your best option is to deal with your crippling sluggishness head on with a power nap. Tip number one, cap naps at 20 minutes. A 20 minute power nap prevents you from entering deep sleep, helping you avoid waking up groggy, a transitional state known as sleep inertia. The whole point of napping is to feel revitalized, not like you've been hit by a boulder. Tip number two, create a nap conducive environment. Some people can nap anytime, any place. But if you don't have this superpower, you'll have to use some handy napping tactics, like blackout curtains, ambient temperature, and white noise. But remember that it's about quality, not quantity. You want to avoid sleeping more than 20 minutes. Tip number three, nap early. Napping too late in the afternoon can disrupt nighttime sleep. Try to schedule naps at the halfway point during your day, like between 1 and 3 p.m., which is a natural slump in the day for most people. Tip number four, avoid napping in bed. You should be comfortable, but not too, too comfortable. Comfy beds have a way of holding us sleep hostage, making it virtually impossible to keep naps within a 20-minute window. Tip number five, nap at the same time every day. Consistency is good with most things, naps included. This tactic will help you rouse from sleep and avoid overnapping. With napping, you certainly can have too much of a good thing. We're going to go into a bit about the science of napping. Keep watching. Naps are great. They're up there with finding 20 bucks in the washing machine. However, Overnapping can interfere with nighttime sleep. Here's a bit of science behind sleep. Your sleep drive, known as homeostatic pressure, builds up over the course of the day, causing you to feel sleepy as the day progresses. Now, when you nap, you may have difficulty falling asleep at night, as daytime napping releases sleep pressure that's necessary for a good night's rest. Why napping is good. Sleepiness causes us to turn into our evil twin. We feel sleepy and angry, slangry for short. A power nap can help improve our mood, help us think clearer, and boost our immunity. Sounds like a win-win. Your friends and family will thank you for taking the time to be a happier, more pleasant you. If you experience excessive daytime sleepiness, talk to your doctor as you may have an undiagnosed sleeping disorder. Help is available.